Hi, I'm Harry Marks, and this is Let's All Go to the Lobby, your introduction to the film you're about to watch. Up next is what is arguably considered the greatest movie the Marx Brothers ever made, and perhaps the most evergreen of them all. This is Duck Soup from Paramount in 1933. Set against a growing conflict between two fictional nations, Duck Soup stars Groucho as Rufus T. Firefly, the newly installed leader of Fredonia. When a plan to depose a rival leader backfires, he accidentally starts a major war with the country of Sylvania. The title of the film was given by director Leo McCary, who had used it on a 1927 silent film of the same name, starring Laurel and Hardy. The phrase was a slang term in America for something easy. Put another way, it meant a sucker or a chump. Though when pressed for his explanation, Groucho was quoted as saying, take two turkeys, one goose, four cabbages, but no duck, and mix them together. After one taste, you'll duck soup for the rest of your life. Duck Soup is a poignant satire of fascism, the ineptitude of governmental leadership, the fragile egos of so-called brave men in charge, and war itself. And it was released the same year Adolf Hitler was appointed Chancellor of Germany. But perhaps the funniest part of all is that the brothers' intention was not to create a lasting send-up of global politics. As Groucho once put it, we were just four Jews trying to get a laugh. Though when they found out Benito Mussolini was insulted by the film and had it banned in Italy, they were thrilled. But Groucho didn't much care for Duck Soup. He felt A Night at the Opera and A Day at the Races, which came next, were far superior films, and audiences at the time agreed. Duck Soup made Paramount a bit of money when it came out, but the studio still considered it a disappointment. Audience reactions were lukewarm at best, and for good reason. The film had been released at a time when people didn't want cynical buffoonery at the expense of patriotism. There were also the people living in the very real town of Fredonia, New York, who worried that the fake nation in Duck Soup would hurt their reputation. The Marx Brothers told them, quote, change the name of your town, it's hurting our picture. Duck Soup was the last film the brothers made for Paramount before jumping to MGM. It was also the first to omit harp and piano performances from Harpo and Chico, respectively. But it does feature one of the brothers' most iconic routines, the mirror scene as performed by Harpo and Groucho. Harpo would go on to recreate it 20 years later with Lucille Ball, on the sitcom I Love Lucy. And so, starring Groucho, Harpo, Chico, and Zeppo in his last film alongside his brothers, here's their powerhouse political send-up from Paramount in 1933. It's Duck Soup.